people. We live. From Omaha, Nebraska, Terrence Bud Crawford. Y'all hear, man? Y'all hear it? Crowd going crazy. Oh, Y'all heard it, man. Terrence Crawford just defeated Raimundo Beltran by unanimous shit. Slow that decision. All three judges had a 118 to 110. Pretty much a wipeout. Uh, punch stats. Crawford do 600. And it was at 39 punches. Land 243. Raimundo Beltran threw like 300 some punches and landed maybe 100. Uh, he was. He just wasn't busy enough. Uh, Terrence Crawford basically just outboxed him. Jab in his face all night. Terrence Crawford is a good fighter. And for a lot of you people out there that doubt Terrence Crawford, you can't doubt him no more. He fought his mandatory, uh, mandatory guy and he beat him. One thing, Terrence Crawford has a good, strong left jab. It's obviously if his jab wasn't that good, the fight was basically, you know, come right through him. So when Raymundo Beltran tried to come in, he stick with the jab. Sometimes he'll throw it once, he'll faint, and then throw it two times. Sometimes he'll double, and then he'll triple the jab, and he has a very fast, strong jab. He's not the fastest puncher. He's not the hardest puncher, but he does, in my opinion, I must say he has a strong jab. Uh, in the fight, he switched, you know, right-handed. He went southpaw. He pretty much, hold on a second. Post-fight interview. Let's listen, y'all. He came in 153 pounds a night. Is this it for the lightweight division? This is it. This is it, Mike like Michael Jackson. <laughs> Who awaits at 140 that you are most interested in fighting? Well, you know, me, I'm going to call out fighters. You know, I don't look at any fighter more than the other one. I let my team come to that, and we'll go from there. Tonight, you were winning almost every round, maybe every round. And yet in the 10th, 11th, 12th, it looked like you started to push for the knockout when that in fact was happening. Well, I feel like... Okay, y'all heard it, man. Uh, Terrence Crawford basically said this is his last fight. He's going up to 140. You know, it's going to be some big names at 140. Obviously, Lamont and Danny Garcia got a fight. So after those two guys fight, they're going to jump up to 47. So, like, the only guys we left at 140 is uh, Adrian Brown will be at 140. That'd be a good matchup for Terrence Crawford versus Adrian Brown. Um, Freddie Roach talking about Manny Pacquiao going down to 140. Manny Pacquiao can still make 140. Uh, that'd be a good fight for him. Um, you know, but tonight, man, uh, Terrence Crawford was just a better man. Like I said, he was right-handed. He switched southpaw. A lot of fighters can't do that. Only great fighters can do that. In my opinion, Terrence Crawford is a great fighter. He's not a big, you know, trash talker. Not a, uh, he, he's not a loud guy. He's not a big trash talker, but he is a great fighter. In my opinion, um, Terrence Crawford can go right-hand. He can switch southpaw. And only great fighters I know that can do that, like uh, Shane Mosley, Floyd Mayweather, um... Those are only two guys I know that switch southpaw and be effective. Terrence Crawford was able to do that and be effective tonight. He defeated, wiped out Raymundo Beltran, a guy who broke. Um, uh, uh, I can't get the guy's name. Oh my God. Uh, Y'all know what I'm talking about. The guy's jaw he broke last year. I can't remember this guy's name off, off uh, top of my head at the moment. But he broke his jaw. A lot of people were wondering about, oh, what if he hit Terrence Crawford? What is he going to do? I'm like, yo, he has 29 fights with 17 knockouts. That's not a big knockout ratio. Terrence Crawford has a bigger knockout ratio than Raymundo Beltran. So people kept saying, I'm like, are you serious? He don't have a big knockout ratio. People was worried about, you know, when um 
when Renudo Beltran broke the guy's jaw. I'm like, to get your bro, your jaw broken, your your mouth has to be open. And somebody has to hit you while your mouth is open. When they hit you hard enough, while your mouth is open, that's when your jaw breaks. So if your mouth is, if you clench down on that mouthpiece, your jaw will not break. So I turn this crawl for Jonathan 140 right after this. I'll probably next year, don't know what month, but it's going to be next year, probably maybe April or May. Terrence Crawford's a good fighter, man. You can't underestimate him. He has a good jab. He has good punch variety. He jab, jab. He feigned, he jab. He throw a lead shot. He can come forward. He can move. He can box. He can pivot left, pivot right. Terrence Crawford did it all tonight, man. Terrence Crawford is a good fighter. And uh, Raymundo Beltran was a, a spawn part for Manny Pacquiao. And after seeing him tonight, I'm like, why did Manny Pacquiao keep Raymundo Beltran around? Did he just keep him around just, cause, just because he was tough and he was a punching bag? I don't know. But um, he ain't do nothing tonight, man. I mean, he landed like two shots in the crowd. You know, was going crazy. And I'm like, yo, he don't punch that hard for him to knock Crawford out with one or two punches. Like, come on. So, um, but he did land two shots, like I said. And Crawford came right back at him. He came right back at him. And a lot of crowd and a lot of fans, you know, like that, obviously. Uh, Beltran won't get a decision in, uh, you know, Terrence Crawford hometown. His only way was to, you know, basically knock him the fuck out. Or knock him down a couple times and beat him just like, you know, Madonna and Big Brown. That was the only way he can get a uh, decision uh, in uh, Omaha, Nebraska. And I don't know, he didn't throw a lot of punches. Like I say, he only threw like 320-some punches. That's a very, very low, low, low output. I don't know what was his issue tonight, but I don't know, man. It just It is what it is. So, um, yeah, man, Terrence Crawford wins tonight, man. Y'all hit me up with any questions, comments, let me know what you thought of this fight tonight. Holla at my mouth, all right? Peace.